Yo, this is such a great time for me and for plant people in general, I think. I am about to level up on my plant game. I'm about to enter my breast cactus in the Philadelphia Flower Show for 2022. I just got off the phone with one of the members of the PHS. They said my application was accepted. The application took me less than 20 minutes, which is very fast. This is particularly for 2022. Disclaimer, things may change for 2023, 2024, and all the remaining uh, other years that's gonna come. Um, but I wanna show you how easy it was for me to enter my plant. Um, how this is going to be a really cool experience for me and my plants to have them compete or have them be judged in the Philadelphia Flower Show for 2022. Keep watching. What's happening? My name is Gerard. I'm an exotic plant collector. I use this channel because I love to talk about my plants. I use YouTube to document it. And uh, this is one of the moments where I love to videotape my journey with plants because I'm about to enter my plant, my breast cactus, my myrtle type, myrtle cactus, geomedrazan, um, fucuruzan, I can't say the whole name, but it's there. The reason why I made this video, because I'm like, wait, people might not, I don't hear a lot of people talking about entering their plants, particularly in contests. I don't know if it's out there. I don't know if a lot of people do it, but just people I've saw haven't done it. So maybe this might interest you to enter one of your plants that you like, because a couple things that I like about the breast cactus, I like the form. The form is spectacular. It, it really is natural to me just to love breasts in general. <laughs> I have two that I very, very love that's in my, my life that I love so much. And uh, <laughs> I just want to, uh, <laughs> I just want to say, go breast. That's all. I'm going to leave it at there. The other reason why I love you know, I chose the breast cactus is because uh, it's small. It's not that big. I won't need a big truck to wheel it in or a second person. I can carry it, you know, for a couple miles and I won't even be thinking about it because it's very light. It's kind of long. I've had it for two years now. I remember doing an unboxing video about it and I think I got it around October. So, but it's two years, a little bit close to three years. We're, we're touching on three years with the plant. It's it's pretty straightforward. I didn't go over how they judged, what they're looking for. Um, I don't know that yet, but I'll make another video to see how they judge stuff and, you know, just in case anybody's curious, because I'm curious because I don't even know now, now that I think about it. But the breast cactus, uh, I, I just think it's different. I think it's, I've seen a lot of Thick breast cactuses where it's like you got a lot of droop. Um, my my breast cactus is perky, nice and perky, and it's not fat or slender. It's you know it's just it's it's not too it's not too skinny. It's not too fat. It's just right. So that's why I want to enter the breast cactus, my breast cactus in uh, in the Philadelphia Flower Show. I've had it under first i've had it in uh i think i've always had it in artificial light pretty much i've had it in artificial light it kind of has like a a curvature to it so i don't know if they're gonna say a why is it curved but it's like i don't know it's i don't know if it should be going straight up so we'll, we'll see what they say we'll see if they even acknowledge it it would be cool i'm going to film it i want to film it as much as possible i want to show up at the follow show I want to film my my breast cactus on uh, live and direct during a you know hopefully I get it during a contest I don't know if I'm allowed able to be there but um, during an actual contest or judging but let me stop rambling let me show you how fast and easy it is to enter your plant in the Philadelphia Flower Show and this is not going to take too long 
like I said, just uh, have a general name, uh, a Latin name for your plant. Let's go. Let me show you what we got. All right. So first up, you most likely, you know, you're going to go to uh, PHS. Online.org, the flower show. I'm sure they're going to have it. What you're going to go is click on uh, part participate. You can volunteer. You can have, you can be a vendor. If you also want to do the flower show, I'm not going to talk about those other two subjects. I'm just be talking about entering your plant as an exhibit. So we're going to click exhibit. Then exhibit's going to give us three options. We're going to do plant entries. Then uh, you'll have this dialogue here where it says interested in being a, becoming an exhibit. Um, I have never participated uh, at all in the flower show. There's no age limits and you do not have to be a member of any garden club or horticultural organization, which I believe I, well, I, I am a part of the Arrowhead Society and I'm a part of the PHS Society too, but I just, I don't I don't frequently go. I need to actually go, but um, I know there's high schools, and you'll see groups that they'll let you click on because I think there's some type of points system. I'm not sure too sure about that, but um, you'll see if if you're a part of a group or a high school group or a garden club, you'll be able to get points. So if you click on uh, apply here you'll be taken to the login selection and um, I thought I had my PHS flower show up to date but I don't think it worked so I, I clicked register because it says that if you are a new exhibitor this year you have not entered your show before alright here we go you would click on apply here and then you would want to enter, you would hit register if you have never um, been an exhibitor. You want to click register because you just want to register. Um, once you click register, you will get a link to your, you put your email in and you would put your, create a password, a double password, then you would click register. Make sure you save your password then uh, it'll bring you to this this um, page here and where on the top left you'll see account successfully created so you put all your information down there and uh, next after you put everything in there you would click save at the bottom right and then you'll get to this page where you'll be able to add each specific plant and it'll have its own ID, so you would click to be entered because you never entered a plant before. And I was trying to think what, what I should do, but it was, you know, I saw this, so I clicked on add entry. It brought me to this page. I want to select my entry because this is where you actually go because I was like, I don't know if I should click that. So I was like, yeah, all right. Um, submitted. Those are submitted as if you already did it. And then the other one is just you know if you already did it too so but you want to go to add entry select class this is where you're, you're selecting a classification for your plant um, there's all types of I think they have everything that you need you know every type of plant there so you would pick your plant mine is a cact, uh, cactus uh, flowering I wasn't too sure if it was cactus grown in house or cactus flowering so um, I clicked cactus flowering but you know I don't know if it, you know I was screw something up by growing in a house or something like that so um, I don't know if I screwed up but we'll see we'll see if they say anything um, so yeah I clicked that and there's all types of stuff you could put in here as for class uh, next if do you click your plant this came up as the EAD or the class is eligible 
this class is this, after I kick clap cactus. I'm not sure if every plant is eligible for the EAD, which is Enter All Days, where it's going to be there for each contest. You can't move it um, to any other type of uh, other subsequent group. It says that. It just gives you all this information, which it may change. I'm not sure if it will change in the future, but read that. I clicked on yes because I'm not moving. I'm just going to drop it off and leave it there, and it'll be entered in each contest, and we'll see what happens. I think there is a few contests. I'm not sure how many, but uh, the rules are on the exhibitor's guide on page 29 and 30, and I'll show you that slightly during the video, but um, it's telling you what you need to do, and basically, I am going to enter my plant for the EAD entry, which is enter all days. EAD stands for enter all days. So I'm clicking yes. And it'll bring you to this page. Just click here to read all the enter day of program rules, which this is where we're gonna go over briefly. It tells you everything that you need to make sure that you are following all these rules to enter your plant. You're going to, um, can't groom it. Shouldn't need any grooming. If you're going to need to groom your plant, you would not do it for the EAD program. You would just bring it for the individual program. I'm not doing a video on that. Um, I don't know what plant is going to need grooming every day. Doesn't come to mind right at this point, but it's probably some plants that do need that. Uh, it tells you uh, EAD plants will be judged each judge. Any ribbons and special awards during the week will be collected by the committee and given to exhibitor at teardown. So they're not they're gonna after you win, I think the ribbons stay there and then they'll give it to you after you know when they give you your plant back and that's teardown. But like I said, this is all types of stuff that you should read. It may change um, throughout the years. Here's a reminder, EAD plants must be entered to show first day entry, Thursday, June 9th. So that's the first day, June 9th. So June 9th is when the first day of the Philadelphia Shower Show is to the plant. Must be entered in the show on the first day entry. So hopefully that's not confusing. I don't think it's that confusing at all. It tells you that you need a 4 by 6 card. Um, I saw on there that you can write it out with the, um, they just want you to put the ID and make sure you follow that correctly. The uh, PHS ID, both numbers read that thoroughly and if you have any questions they have like a thorough um, visual diagram that you can uh, write down or follow if you want to add like a pre-printed pre -printed, pre -printed label you can see that they'll have that on another page that I did see that before but yeah this is I'm going to go over every EAD thing but just read it just so you won't have any problems here we go. Continuing on. Then you will go back, click agree, hit click continue. Now, I have two class numbers. I have the cactus flowering fruiting thing here, pot size 6 to 10. The first Friday, that's going to be that first Friday in June. Um, designated this area for all entry days. Class, once again, there. So I have to have this. 8120 and 9120 on that on that card, that 4x6 card. Uh, Wednesday next. So this is all good. This is all good in there. So you want to go to add your plant up top in the blue. You want to add the plant because this is the general title, the class. Now you want to add the specific class because you know you got your classifications, your genres, and there's little subcategories. So I'm typing in the name of my breast cactus, the Myrtle Myrtillo Cactus Geometrizan. Here we go. I had to, I was on my phone looking at it. Geometrizan Fukurosizobuko. So I added that. Now I thought I should type it in, but you should actually just click add a plant. And then you can copy and paste and then put it there on the botanical name. Then it should pop up like that as the Latin name. And then you would just click save. And then there it is. For two. 
So I was, that's pretty, you know, easy to understand, I believe. Next to three organizations and affiliations. This is what I was talking about. If you're like, you're part of like a horticultural society or like some type of group, you can uh, put your group affiliation there and I think you'll get points as a group or something like that. Not sure how that works, but you would, there's all types of groups I didn't know. So I scrolled down and I looked at all these types of groups. It was like AARP, um, Abigan, Abigan, this, there's all types of groups there. So you can select your group if it's in this category and you know, your garden club name will be in that. I got to join a garden club where I'm frequently a member because I need to, I need to fellowship with other groups of other uh, plant people I just need to I, I feel like I need to so yeah that's where we're at right there all the group names all right so next uh, I left that blank because I just wasn't sure if I'm in the, the PHS so I left it blank and if you have any special requests I don't have any special requests you can put that there for or you know such a core exhibitor you can put that there and after you're done, you hit add to cart and then you will be brought to this page. So you got your PSS, PHS ID. I took a picture of this. You can come back to it, but I just, this is what's going to be on the card. You're going to need that PHS ID, the class number, the class title, and just follow your directions. And then I saw all over here, your entries that are not submitted, if they you leave the site, they will be saved until you get back. Please check out and submit your entries by 5-5-22. So today is Cinco de Mayo. It's the last day. Um, no, it's not Cinco de Mayo. It's um, it's May 4th. So you want to get it in there tomorrow. Hopefully I get this video today where everybody can just get their plants in there all at the same time. Because it would be great to see a bunch of people flood in because of this video. But anyway, um, yeah. My plants first Friday and Wednesday. Those are the class and you hit complete check out on the bottom. And then you would go be brought to this screen here where it says accepted. And it says successfully submitted two, ent two entries at the top. Then it says accepted for status. And we're in there like swimwear. So this is history, folks. This is history in the Gerard's Quarter Horticultural Culture. Gerard's Horticultural Culture. Horticultural culture. We're moving forward, man. We're growing. This is this is fun, man. This is fun. So you'll get an email also telling you that you have registration success and stuff like that. And um, they'll give you some other information there. You would click here to sign in again. That's where your page is. But um, I also called because I had a couple questions because I didn't know how much it cost to be in the Philadelphia Flower Show. If, there's, if, if there was a cost, and there's not a cost to be in the Philadelphia Flower Show to be a uh, exhibitor, um, but there's some rules, so you gotta follow those. And then um, also, if the person that you call, um, they'll know if everything is you know in order, so they'll tell you if it has been rejected or it has been accepted, so you could do that as well. Um, and that was very fast. I think that was very fast. That was less than 10, less than 15, 10 minutes, I believe. So, yeah. And after you do that, they're going to let you know where to park, what time you can bring your plan in, where you should bring your plan in. And once again, you're going to need those 4 by 6 cards. So make sure you go through the guidelines thoroughly and make sure that you're following them to a T so you don't have any issues at the door. Other than that, that's how you get it in there. Hopefully, I see you at the flower show for 2022. I'm going to be there. Um, I think a lot of other plant people are going to be there. So, uh, see you soon. And keep growing.